Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Corporate Skiller. In today's video, we will how to use the DAX measure using SumX function. Uh, before that, I would recommend you to watch uh, how to create a simple Power BI dashboard uh, using add new column, card and slicer video, a uh, link of which has been mentioned in the description below. So in this uh, video, we would be using DAX measures in order to do the exact same thing which we did uh, uh, using the calculated column. Uh, the only major difference between the calculated column and the uh, tax measure is that uh, the calculated column would increase the data model size and make the uh, dashboard much more, much less efficient whereas DAX measures are uh, computed at the query time making it much more efficient in this uh, video we would be using DAX measure called SUMX function I have created a simple Excel file called training 3 for this purpose uh, we have uh, columns called product name location price per unit and quantity sold what we need is uh, the uh, the product of the quantity sold and the price per unit in our uh, dashboard um, so we would uh, we have already seen how to load the excel file into the power bi dashboard so we would not be doing it again in this particular video you can refer to any of those videos uh, for that purpose so i have loaded uh, the excel file into my desktop uh, called uh, sheet one which is the name of the table we we have different ways in order to add new measures first way is to go into mod link and uh, click on the new measure uh, so in this particular case what would happen is that if you have multiple tables it might create a new measure in any of the tables so in order to avoid that uh, what we can uh, there is an another way to add a new measure you can go into the table and click on more options that is right click and the, then click on new measure the name of the measure which you are going to create is called as total sales so kindly rename it as total sales now we have to select a sum x function so when you type sum x it will show in the drop down click on it and now we have to uh, add the name of the data table so it is sheet one in our case click on it now we have to add the expression so we need the product of the quantity sold and price per unit so again click on uh, enter the name of the table that is sheet one it will also show the uh, the columns so mention uh, the multiplication of those two columns and then click on enter finally so it will create a new measure now we can go into the modeling tab and see whether it has added a new column so in this particular case we do not find the total sales as a new column so it means that it has been added and it will run during the query time uh, what it essentially means is that when we add uh, add total sales in any of our report in any of our visuals then only it will get computed and not uh, when it is uh, lying in the table so it essentially uh, saves a lot of uh, data model size and uh, makes the power bi dashboard much more efficient we will now see how to use the total sales in uh, individuals or in the reports uh, we would be using the past tag chart uh, in our uh, visual so click on bar, stack bar chart and then click on the product name and click on total sales so now we have a chart which is showing the product name and total sales associated with it we can go into visuals and click on the data label so that we can see the total sales of each of the uh, product we can also change the type of the chart by going back into the visual and click on clicking on table so now we can see the sales of each of the product we uh, we can also uh, click on 
the top section in order to sort it in the ascending or descending order. So in this video, we have seen how to use the DAX measure called SUMMEX function in order to calculate the computation or uh, the multiplication of two of the columns. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel called Corporate Skill Wars.